Hey guys, I did a miles per gallon test before and I was very transparent forward and told you that it was a single test and for those guys itching to know that it was a single test and those are my numbers. Well, after a little bit of a more extensive experimenting, 2300 miles total, those are my numbers. Now, I have two separate tests here. Let me, let me pull over and be safe and responsible here. So, today, Okay, guys, and for my wife watching, yes, I'm pulling into a shade. That is why I am pulling and reparking. I'm always the guy always looking for shade. Okay, okay, cool. I still have not tinted my windows, and that really bothers me. But back to the point here. So, today's cruise, as you can... Oh, shoot, dude, does that have my average per, per hour? I don't know, Ram, what were you thinking, man? Why'd you rob that from us? A guy like me that likes his info likes to know that. So this, my friend, is about 80% of this time, 75 to 80% of this time, so three hours and 30 minutes, rounded off for 40 minutes, was on the highway. You know, 60, 70, 77, or whatever the mile, I was maintaining 77, as, as high as 77, as low as 60. 80% um, of the time, and that's the mileage. Which leaves rest of it, you know, 20 or 25% in town, which is very impressive, guys. That's very impressive. Now, when I did the interstate driving, well, let me rewind my thought there. I always thought 373s is the pe best gear ratio because it's the sweet middle. But I was wrong, guys. There's a second test I'll show you to underline that. Uh, 373s average better. So it is the sweet spot axle that you want to have. Not what Paul thought, you know, it's the sweet spot for power delivery and, and the power ratio, meaning you have a tall enough and a short enough rear end when you need it kind of deal. But for, for power and mileage, because here's the kicker, you know, 75, 80% of the time I was on the highway and I was doing like 18.3, 342s would have kicked the 373 butt on the highway. But as soon as you get in town, they, it suffers a lot harder the truck suffers a lot greater in gas mileage and power in town you guys following what i'm putting down here okay so you're gonna have to take my word on this one so about a week ago i reset this and about 60 percent of this well more like 75 excuse me 65 to 70 percent of this gas mileage was in town putting along running errands so average speed of this is probably like 25 miles an hour you know, 60% of the time. Hope I said that right. Yeah. A lot of in-town driving, a little bit of highway driving. And 16.4 is very impressive, guys. So back and rewind and re uh, reconfigure everything I said. Guys need to realize that rear end has a lot to do with gas mileage and what you do with your rig and power delivery and all that. So, but to keep this as, as, as compact as possible, this video, recap. Paul always thought 373 rear ends, like this truck has, was a sweet spot for power, okay? I knew that on the freeway, highway, interstate, whatever you want to call it, so 60 miles an hour and plus, I would suffer on my gas mileage compared to 342s. But I knew that I would, I would gain it with the in town, so it would be a wash. That was Paul's theory. What Paul's trying to say is he was wrong. 373 is a superb as long as you're not doing 90, 95% on the highway, then 373 is what you want. Because in town, as I showed you, this is a week of in-town driving. 16.4 is very impressive. Guys, this is very impressive numbers. Now, for 80% on the high, 80 on the highway and a lot of idling, because your gas mileage goes down and it goes against you, right? I've, whatever. You know, in the last hour, this truck probably idled... 15 well, more like 20 minutes of it because you know I'd move slow moving traffic and then I'd be on the phone and whatever you get what I'm saying short gist of it 373s are kick butt they do lose to 342s on straight up highway uh, config but if you as soon as you mix in a little bit and I'm talking about at about 15 to 20 percent of city driving Compared to interstate driving, you're breaking even on 373s compared to 342s. And as soon as that number grows, let's say past 20% city versus highway, you're gaining on 373s. Not only is 373s a better, better power delivery axle, 
but now you're gaining on your gas mileage too. It's fabulous, guys. I am stoked. I love it. I always loved it, and I've, I'm repeating myself because of the power delivery and the RPM range. I like 373s, but this opened a new dictionary, a new book. No, I'm not a scientist, and I can't significantly prove it to you besides by the numbers, the reference numbers, you know? And those numbers have been calculated, and they're very accurate to my I'm very impressed how accurate they are. Now, you're going to ask the question, what about straight up highway? Okay, let's just say, well, not let's just say. Today, when I got on the highway, well, right before getting on the highway, I reset this. Uh, and I did, you know, 75 miles an hour. And I was averaging 18.3, 18.5. Okay, this thing's 100% stock. This truck is a stock truck. Besides, a little bit bigger tires. That's it. So that's what I average, 18.3 to 18.5. That's where it hovered. And then I get in town and I do a lot of this idling and, and punting along and I go to 17. Now 17.4 is not bad at all, guys. That is not bad at all. I'm very impressed. Now I'm shooting out of my hip. Okay? But if I had a and the reason I'm saying I'm shooting out of my hip isn't probably quite the proper term here. If I had to take a stab at it. At a 50 to 50% 50 ratio, someone that does 50% city and 50% highway. I'm just getting my thoughts together. An individual that does 50% city, 50% highway, and is comparing 342s to 373 rear axle. With a 373, they are 2C, 15 to roughly 18% better fuel efficiency. Those are crazy numbers, guys. These are the equations. These are the mathematical average that I've come up in the last 2,300 miles. They are to change. They are going to change as the truck breaks in. I don't know how these trucks and how well they break in. And guys, you can blow up the comment section that these trucks don't need to get broken in. Then why in the world am I seeing better performance, A, and better gas mileage as, as the mileage goes up with the uh, 6, 7 Cummins and the older generation. This is a 19. If you boys can't tell. I haven't figured it out by now. The 13s through 18s, they get better gas mileage. Prime gas mileage is about 200,000 on the odometer. Anyways. Okay. I wanted to keep this short. This is probably as long as it's going to get. I'm done. If you guys want to, if you want me to elaborate in certain areas, certain questions, shoot them in the comment section. I will do my best to follow up. If it needs to be, I got no problem setting half an hour aside and, and you know, busting out a half an hour uh, video on paper and, and showing you what I'm seeing and what, what the truck is reflecting. Guys, this is what I love doing. This is why I, I love my pickups is because you can call it test and tuning, but it's like trial and error. You know, I'll try this oil. I'll try that fuel. I've tr I, I just love doing this. No, I'm not an engineer. I'm not a scientist, but I love doing this. So there you go. I'm happy to share it with you. So as long as you guys are watching, you'll keep getting my quirky or weird videos, but it seems like you guys enjoy and I'm not the only oddball out there that enjoys this kind of stuff. Meanwhile... As always, may the Lord bless you. May y'all have a mighty fine day. I'm out. I'm going to go spend some time with my family now. God bless you. Bye.